New week, new opportunity to compete. What is up, family? I hope y'all are having a great start to the week. I have a little Monday motivation for you to talk about attitude. How's your attitude this week? Do you have a positive one where people want to be around you, want to associate with you? Are you just a negative Nancy and really you always feel like you're in a bad mood? So first, let's talk about this. Your attitude is a choice. The choice you make, no matter what the circumstances are, is yours and yours alone to make. But how do you maintain a positive attitude when things are terrible, when things are not going your way and you just feel awful? Here are the tips and tricks that I try to use, sometimes to a fault where my wife laughs that I'm always in a good mood. I promise I'm not. I have my shit days. I have my bad days. But here's what I try to apply in my own life for when I have those days so that I can quickly course correct where my attitude is versus where it should be and where it should be going. First thing I do, I admit it. I admit when I'm having a bad attitude. I say, Jake, I'm upset about this. I openly acknowledge it. But what I do is I have to follow it up with, but what I'm thankful for. For instance, Jake, I'm very upset about this situation, but I'm thankful that it's a one-time deal and I don't have to repeatedly deal with it. I have to shift my perspective just a little bit from what's upsetting me to what I'm thankful for either from what I've learned in the situation, what I found out before, or what headaches it saved me from in the long term. So be open about it. Share what's upsetting you. Get it out so you can get it off your chest. Two, set a timer. Create a window that you're going to allow yourself to be upset and then be done with it. The book author Hal Elrod, who wrote, who wrote A Miracle Morning, talks about this. When he was in sales, Every time he would have like a bad conversation or a sales rep he would lose out on, an account, anything, anything that just didn't go his way, Hal would take out his phone and set a timer for five minutes. He could scream, he could cuss, he could hit a punching bag, do whatever he wanted for five minutes. And as soon as that timer went off, he was done. He literally shifted his mindset from a situation that no matter if he had a good attitude or bad attitude toward, wasn't going to change that situation toward making the choice that he was going to be over it and have a good attitude. So create a timer, set a window for yourself to say, you know what, I'm going to get it out of my system in this five minute, 10 minute window, and then I'm done. I'm over it. I'm past it. Third, once you get that timer out, once you, your timer alarm has gone off, shift your perspective forward. What's next? There's a reason your windshield is bigger than your rear view mirror. It's because your eyes are supposed to be forward on everything that's before you, all of the life, all the goals, all the dreams that are before you, not what's behind you, not the stuff that you've already passed. And so shift your perspective from the bad situation in the rear view mirror to the potentially great situations ahead of you. That's my steps. That's my tricks for hanging, for getting out and leveling up your attitude, for having that positive attitude. One other thing that I'd love to share is just remember who you keep company with. This community group here page is awesome because it's a bunch of positive people encouraging each other toward success. We are not perfect. We are not always happy and we're not always going to be right, but we're positive in the aspect that we're working toward a greater good. And so here, these are people you can level up with, but look around in your own life. If you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, and the four of the five have bad attitudes all the time, don't you think that's going to rub off on you negatively? And so create those relationships, build those relationships with other people that have positive attitudes, that have a more upbeat approach and perspective on life. So I know each and every one of you can do it. I'm proud of each and every one of you and everything you're pursuing. But most of all, did I leave something out? If I did, Comment in the thread below and tell me what's one thing that you do that I didn't mention that helps you have a great attitude when things aren't going your way. Have a great week, friends.